I haven't had a whole lot to say so far. We were just out for a really a, a glorified walk in the park. Behind me, you can see Harris Lake. It's actually a reservoir that is uh, for cooling a nuclear reactor that is on the other side of this peninsula uh, that uh, gets its water from Harris Lake. One of the things, whether it's nice or not, I guess depends on your goals, uh, about this trail is it is pretty flat. There is almost no elevation change, aside from a few ups and downs here and there. Nice, easy way to knock out. Generally around five miles, I think you can pad that or cut it short, depending, again, on what your, uh, what your goals are. But, some places as you're hiking through this trail or other parts of the park you'll see bits of trees or patches of ground that have clearly been burned and that is because they need to clear out understory and uh, mid canopy in order to let longleaf pine uh, have a better chance at flourishing the base of some of these pines off to my right show a little bit of it looks like blackening, probably from those controlled burns. And I don't know if it's literally just grass or if it is baby longleaf pines. When they are first uh, come up out of the ground, when they first come up out of the ground, they've got what they call a grass phase where they basically look like a, a tuft of, I don't know, wheatgrass or, or something. a little bit off the trail, uh, like 
20 feet if that. You can get right down on the lake. And in the distance, about the center third, you can see the steam stack from the Sharon Harris nuclear plant. Now, I don't remember offhand what river was uh, impounded, if that's the right word, uh, to create the Harris Reservoir. But I do know that in 1986, they started building or completed building the uh, Reactor 1, I believe is what it is. Uh, the uh, plant here is a pressurized water reactor, or PWR, um, currently running one, uh, one reactor, uh, Unit 1. And it went uh, critical, or achieved criticality, I guess is probably a better way to phrase it, on, uh, uh, in 1987. tailed deer just grazing some of the marshier spots here uh, I don't think I can zoom in far enough he is right through those trees he still sees me he's kind of checking me out but uh, yeah it's also cool just to be able to see deer out here instead of you know bouncing off the hood of a car on the uh, interstate try to zoom in I don't know if that's gonna make an, an appreciable difference or not He's just watching me, slowly taking a few steps. Pretty cool. Long before Sharon Harris Reservoir was a reservoir, uh, whatever river they had to impound to create it, um, back in the uh, 1700s, I believe, several different families lived on and worked the land that uh, the Peninsula Trail now runs through. And you'll see a lot of those names 
on streets and places in the surrounding area. And it's interesting to see that some of some of the land they worked, the places they lived, are still here. Some old foundations. Well, we are coming up on the parking lot again. We're just about finished with the Peninsula Trail. Like I said, it's not really a day hike so much as a glorified walk, but it is a nice walk, a nice opportunity to just kind of separate from everything else that's going on. So I appreciate you tagging along and I look forward to seeing you in the future.